Hello then, welcome back to a new Roman Empire! Or, hopefully, a new Roman Empire. Last time we, uh, well, we ended up helping our vassals in this war, which they are incredibly inadequate at winning. I don't really want to mess up the borders too much, that's why I decided to intervene myself, which is uh, perfectly alright. And we're of course also going after the, uh, well, the uh, Northumbria part, so that should be fine. Currently we're just going to continue the conquest that we have, uh, or the conquest that we have currently been doing. There's not really much else to do. I also have uh, just a little bit of warning to come with. I might sound really pissed or really angry during this recording, and uh, that has nothing to do with this game. It is all to do with the fact that in my Sweden game, in EU4, I uh, just turn on the game after downloading the latest expansion, and basically the game is, uh, is completely destroyed for me in terms of what I wanted to achieve. Well, at least that's how it looks like at the point. So we'll have to see what I'll do with that, but uh, just a shameless plug here on my side. Anyways, we're going to continue where we left off. The goal, of course, will be to just siege these two uh, provinces, and then we'll decide what to uh, what to do with them. But, uh, yeah, for the time being, the plan is just to, again, consolidate England, try and convert some of the land. We'll have to see how we do that. But uh, I think it's actually time that I start to consider moving myself over to Asturias before we take on France here. Basically I'm going to do things a little bit backwards. France is just too big, too powerful, too scary at this juncture for me to do anything to mess around with them. Unfortunately also the Emperorship is a very strong title per se. I will need some rebels to uh, do some jobs for me. Diplomacy at one could make that a possibility if I have enough money to fund a uh, well to fund a very large attack if you will. That could work. But uh, for the time being, we'll just sit down, we'll upgrade some of our stuff, and uh, I'll consider if I want to go after Asturias, for instance. Alice is just the Count of the Saw. So, uh, yeah, I think we are going to most likely set course over there. So, as you can see, I could actually find the Empire if I wanted to. Uh, potentially, uh, what I will do is, instead of forging the, or doing the, uh, how should I put this, doing the old way of creating an empire, which is turning orthodox and then acting the decision. I might go for doing something slightly else here. If uh, if I have a hard time getting an heir to form said decision, I'll probably go for founding a new empire, but uh, I'll see. I might form the Empire of Britain or Britannia first and work from there, but uh, we'll have to see. Yeah, that was at least a goal in the beginning, so of course I'll have to follow suite on that. And it will also be very helpful to form the empire of uh, yeah, yeah, you're going to get something uh, something to govern very, very soon. Relax. Are you highlighted? Let's go to Titus. I have two Tituses. Well, this Titus is going to be given something because he is depressed. So, there we go. The war with uh, the Count of Northumbria is over. We can enforce our demands, which is wonderful. And unfortunately, I did actually take his... Uh, well, his vassals, if you will, holding. So I can't get a very quick or very cheap, if you will, uh, to one hitter there. So there you go, Count of Northumberland, get out of my sight. You are no longer of any use to me. And I'm a little bit sure in terms of truce timers if I can just, yeah, I can declare war on this guy. Let's go for a conquest of this one. It's closer, it's simpler, and everyone can live happily ever after. Now, I'm pretty sure that I'm actually employing. Uh, actually have a prince here. Yeah, I remember. Could use that to my launch too. Uh, but actually, as I was saying here, I uh, do have two mercenary units under me, don't I? Pretty sure I do, which of course is really, really useful, because that means that I don't uh, piss off my vassals, and also I have a little bit more, well, security, if you will, in terms of uh, getting one after here. So, for the time being, I'll just allow this easy to continue. And unfortunately there, things didn't go as planned here. This guy actually managed to take the Orc too. Which uh, are going to make the Duchess look a little bit weird. I might just, again, toss this one in under him. My heirs. My heirs. My heir. But I don't think I want to. He's my heir. I need to be able to have complete control over him. And I think I'll go ahead here and try and educate him myself. Apparently I can't, so we'll just leave that by. Uh, but anyways, we'll continue the war here against uh, Delnor de Bold, and hopefully it'll go uh, our way. We'll see how it pans out. 
And I think I can also just go for another war against you. Yeah, I can. So let's go for a conquest here of uh, this one. Oh, what's it called? No, it's actually part of uh, Lancaster, so we'll not go for that one. We'll just go for Teviotdale to connect our lands. It'll make it look a little bit pretty on the map. That works. So let us declare war for Teviotdale, and uh, then we can all be happy. So uh, I'll just allow the war to run its course, and uh, once it's over, I'll get back to you. So unfortunately here, yeah, I decided to go for building some training uh, training grounds in uh, Middlesex, my cap or Westminster, my capital. And we ended up with uh, some pretty angry and pretty annoying uh, Catholic salads here. Now, I learned my lesson last time that if I leave these guys be for longer than a certain amount of time, they multiply rapidly. More, well, brutally than rabbits. So I think we're going to take the uh, safe route here and basically just go for... Uh, uh, go for getting... Uh, getting some... Uh, getting them killed basically that is the one simple most secure well sound at least uh, reasoning I have right now so we're just going to destroy them right away that should be very much helpful for me I hope so uh, again it should be a very very easy one got the uh, guy in charge we're going to enforce and execute but uh, I don't think these guys will ever learn so it's not really too much of a too much of a help if you will uh, exposed. Denounce him publicly. Give me a reason to arrest him. Keeps this information to myself. I'll keep this information to myself for the time being. It's just a, it's just a mayor. I could of course arrest him, but uh, I think he'll just flee if I do that. But as you can see, there's uh, there's gold to be had in actually having prisoners. So uh, I'll just keep them and well, force some gold out of them every now and again. Uh, for the time being, however, I'll focus on what I can. There's a Scottish Liberation Revolt which is taking place, which could actually benefit me a lot. So uh, I'll just sit back, sit back here, and we'll see if I can get uh, what I'm after. So unfortunately, here I was actually attacked, as you can see, by the guys that are trying to free Scotland or the Liberation Revolters. So we're just going to skip out of that because we are losing the battle uh, pretty much substantially, and of course I don't want to be a part of that. I have no idea if these guys are actually the ones that are well being uh, being assholes, if you will, but they could be. So I think we're just going to march north towards uh, Fort Rio and uh, try and, well, take that land while the uh, my army here recovers because as you can see it's missing 1100 men. So uh, we might as well just do some more sieges there. I'm a little bit unsure what will happen with my war with, uh, with Lothian here, but potentially there won't be a, there will be a Scottish kingdom just popping up. It could be, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. For the time being that is perfectly... Uh, well reasonable in my eyes to do. Uh, the only thing I want to do is see if I can actually do some quick sieging and thus get Teviotdale here without any fuss and it seems like I will be able to do that. High Chief Trajan has created the High Chief of Galloway. Wonderful. Let's do your mercy. Well, I guess I, I know that this guy is actually really really good. Oh, Probus here. The Lecher? The Leecher. Lecher. Hmm. Interesting fellow, uh, but I am he's really good at creating bastards. I'll give him that So um, again, I think I'll just do for do some more sieging and we'll see what I end up with here. I need a new chancellor Sure, you can do a very good job of that and again I kind of want to get to Asturias, so we'll try and fabricate some claims there and then I can start my uh, conquest I guess of uh, Well, you should be one of your vassals can be discouraged from associating with spirit Faction if the proper leverage is obtained. How do you wish to proceed? Do I actually have some factions? Sure, I'll obligate the vassal. I'm pretty sure it's the same dude. I hope. Yep, same dude. I'd have said, uh, I was about to say coalition. Probably played a little bit too much of EO4. Thank for you reminding me of my duties and obligation as your vassal. You are right, of course. For the foreseeable future, you have my promise not to support factions conspiring against you. Signed. Prince Gallienus of England. Very good. Very good at you know your place, Gallienus. I'm proud of you. Anyways, I'll take Teviot Dale now, because I don't want to have suddenly a Scottish place or Scottish kingdom popping up, taking my land. That would actually be really, really horrible. So, let's see here. Sure, I'll give you a title, even though it will probably not be inheritable. There we go, you're no longer of any interest to me, but you do have a title, so that is a positive. 
And, uh, well, with that, I'll just again sit back and allow uh, time to pass. That is basically all I do these days. We have another Catholic Uprising, and uh, this one's actually quite big. Uh, it's uh, a grand total of 4,000 men. We also have Sictum sweeping the land, so with that, we don't really have too many troops ourselves to, to field here. We have 5,000 here. So we'll join them up, the rest will not be used because they're basically not, uh, well, useful enough, if you will. So that should be fine, and we'll just get rid of these guys. Did I now just despawn someone that would be useful to have? Seems like it, so let's just spawn your guys and meet up in Derby. So again, I do have the Scottish Raiders still running around in my lands. And that is of course really really bad because they could potentially end up inadvertently winning battles for my enemies and uh, I'm not a big fan of that. It doesn't sound good. And also in terms of you that have noticed my money, I have uh, sat or started building three more buildings, uh, all military focused. Two castle shipyards and a stable. Basically the castle shipyards have been built and will be built in these three as well for the sole purpose of uh, well, the funny thing here is, as you can see, that the Catholic rebels are actually hiding right now with the help of the Scottish Liberators. Hey, are you are uh, annoying as hell. I'll give you that. Uh, what I'll probably just have to do is join up with these guys, or send these guys to join up, and then do a double smack. But, of course, the danger of doing that double smack is very, very... They're very real, they're very simple. I could potentially end up in a situation where the rebels will kick my ass, both of them. The Kingdom of Italy. The ancient Lombard Kingdom was established in Italy after a long history of migration originating in Northern Europe. Along the way, the Lombards themselves have changed, both influencing and becoming influenced by the regions they have settled. Now it has finally come to pass that the Lombard lands in Italy no longer have a Lombard ruler, and this effectively spells the end of the name of the Kingdom of the Lombards. We shall henceforth speak of the Kingdom of Italy, but the Lombard heritage shall live on. Sick Transit, Gloria Mundi, I guess. I hope. But, uh, yeah, that works fairly alright with me. I think, I thought, and then I saw Francia. Are you the king of Italy? No, we have a king of uh, the Kalos, Middle Francia, East Francia, Aquitaine, and Saxony. Wow, this could actually be kind of interesting in terms of pissing off the emperor. This guy is actually more powerful than the emperor, I would presume. He has the Kingdom of Italy, Kingdom of West Francia, and the Emperor of France. So yeah, it could actually be very funny to try and break this apart, but doubtful that I'd be able to do that in, in this state. Especially since 5,000 rebels is currently putting a very, very, well, nasty problem for me here. So as you can see, we actually ended up in a very bad battle here. My mercenaries versus the 3,000, if you will. And my mercenaries here might actually get killed, uh, although the fact is most of those guys are actually not mercenaries. They are part of my retinue, of course, which I conveniently forgot, if you want to. Now, I want you guys to actually retreat before my guys hit, if you will, because I think that will yield the best results. Yep, let's just hit them. And again, yeah, I just need to destroy these guys. Why haven't I ended this war yet? There we go. So as you can see, the Kingdom of Scotland has been reborn, but it's kind of tiny and kind of in shambles, but that's a that's beside the point. And again, yeah, my, I'm pretty sure, I, as I said, this is my retinue, I would presume. Yeah, half of this is threatening new troops, and they are currently suffering some losses, so... I think we'll send them to Connacht, though. Connacht is definitely a place that I will have to fight. So, let's just go ahead and get rid of the... Uh, annoying, if you will, rebels. And other than that, I don't think there will be too much to, to do... No, they're going to Clydesdale, my bad. But other than that, again, I don't think there will be too much to do. If anyone else or Catholic rebels do actually join up right now, that might actually be troublesome. But, uh, let's face it, I don't expect them to. They are, they're just being too, too destroyed here, too annoyed, too punished, if you will. But uh, we will complete Ireland. I think that will be the end of this episode. We'll just do a conquest of Connacht, and uh, with that, we'll leave things as they are. We can call in allies, of course. I have a wrong type of holding, thanks to the fact that I just conquered some land. And next in the list of being handed titles are Petronius. So let's just give you Straturn. And you are no longer of any interest to me, like so many others before you. Well, the Catholic Rebels revolt, not surprisingly, I might add. That is kind of how things were expected to go, if you will. So, uh, I think for the time being, we'll just uh, sit back here and wait for the siege to, to end. 
There we go, the uh, siege is done, and with that we have now secured Ireland for ourselves, which is wonderful. Uh, in terms of who will get the new country here, yeah, this was one guy that actually started bugging me, this guy, wanted a thief of his own. So we'll hand him contact and then we'll just leave him be, I guess. Uh, the problem here is, of course, the fact that I wanted to divide Ireland too, more or less, so uh, we're going to put this under the uh, guy in Ulster. Let's see here. Transfer. Vasilage. The Connick guy. Uh, let's see, where's Connick? Where is my chief of Connick? He's 34, I remember that much. Okay, so... What? Is it 33? No, it's 34. Well, I'll, I'll leave that be. And we'll just see how things pass on there. But anyways, we're going to leave it here, just because there's no good reason to continue and we're also out of time. Thank you for watching, please leave a comment, phrase, criticism, anything you feel like, and uh, we'll continue this next time. Bye!